In this video, I'm going to be showing you how can you find someone's online information or online presence using only a picture of their face. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Sat from CyberSudo. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media for more awesome tips and tricks. Now, I have recently created an OSINT masterclass in which you will learn how can you get someone's personal email address and personal phone number. It's a pre-recorded live training. If you are interested in taking this course, you can click on the link in the description. You will get 25% discount plus the CyberSudo OSINT toolkit plus too many courses on how you can unlock vulnerable cars using radio replay attack and how can you hack your own Wi-Fi network using OS X. All of this is going to be in the description and let's start our video. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to upload my picture, my face picture to various websites and see what information I can find about myself. So when I go to my website and go to portfolio, I can see my picture and then I can open it in a new tab and get the full URL. You can either download it on your machine or you can get the full URL of the image. Now, all the websites that we're going to use are going to be linked in my OSINT toolkit. So you can have it by subscribing being to the newsletter. So the first website, which is very known is Google. Google has a feature that's called Google image or Google lens that allows you to search for something using the picture or a picture. So when I go to Google, I can click on this little camera icon and then I can either upload the file or upload or put the image link. I'm going to put the image link that we have copied from the, my website and then say search. Now on the right side is not going to find anything as you can see here. But when I click on find image source, it's going to look for this exact image and see where it's been found on Google. And it's been found on LinkedIn, my YouTube channel and my blog as well. And it's been also found on zsecurity.org because I have uploaded multiple videos on this blog. I'm going to give you a little tip or trick that I have learned from someone's called the Dutch awesome guy. And I really love this. So when you have someone's name, for example, for example, let's say Saad Saraj in this example, I'm going to say Saad Saraj and then put it in two colons and then hit enter. And then I can, I can go to images and see what images are linked to this person. And I can see like these are the thumbnails of the videos that I uploaded. And some of them are not even related to me like this one or this one, but it's somehow related to this name. That's why Google is showing it to us. So what we can do, if we want to let Google only search for faces for this person's face, then we can go to images first and then go tools and click on type and click on clip art, for example. And when you clip, click on clip art, it's going to only show you clip arts of this maybe person or anything that's associated with this person. And we can see that we have got the logo right here. We have got the security logo as well, etc. Now what you want to do is that you want to go to the URL and replace the word clip art with the word face. So if I say it face, enter, and now Google will only search for this person's face or anything that associated with him, but it's going to only look for faces. So I think this is amazing. The second website is called Yandex, which is the Russian search engine or the Russian Google go to Yandex and then click on images and click on the camera icon just like in Google and then put the URL of the image and say search. Now the cool thing about Yandex is that it does not only search for the exact same image that you have uploaded. Instead, it's also search for similar people that have similar facial expressions. So I have uploaded my picture and you can see that it's been found on my channel cyber sudo and it's been also found on this website which is something that we have not got before and i think that this is a website that has maybe multiple videos or youtube channels and somehow my picture got uploaded in here and it's been also found on twitter which is also something that we were not able to find with google and we can also see that my picture is also uploaded to social blade which is also something that we did not find with Google. And we can also see here a different, little different image, which is my Instagram account, which is a little bit edited. You can see that it has a like border 
around the image which is something we also did not find with google but we were able to find this with yandex so another search engine which is very popular is also from microsoft bing search engine we can click on the camera icon paste the image and we can see what information can we can we find in here immediately i can see my youtube channel which is something that is not new i've already seen this with google and with yandex so let me go to related content maybe i can find something more or if i scroll down but i do not find anything now sometimes in some case, cases you want to click on visual search so you want to select the face the person's face like this for example and you might get something like this works sometimes and sometimes it does not work the next website which i think i think is very good is called pmise and pmise actually analyzes the picture that it, that you have uploaded it and gives you search result that's based on the facial expressions that's been analyzed with the picture that you have uploaded so let's do an example i'm gonna go to upload a photo and here i'm gonna put just add my picture and now it's going to be uploaded i'm gonna say start search and now it's going to scan the internet and see where my face got uploaded and you can see that it took all the youtube thumbnails and found my face in it so you can see that this is youtube thumbnail this one too and all of these actually it actually detected the facial expressions and searched for any some anything similar to this and you can see where it's been found and we can also see a picture that we did not see in any other search engine like being yandex or google and if we kept scrolling down we can see also some clips of a video that i have previously uploaded i think on my academy so this is only a clip that's been analyzed frame by frame and it were able to find my picture now obviously this person is not me not this one as well and not this one but it actually were able to find my picture on multiple websites and you can see here a part of the website that my image were uploaded to and if you want to see the full url then you need to have a subscription but for me knowing that my information on my face is actually online this is very helpful i might be able to use google dorks to find the where this image has been uploaded so this is something you can also do but this is something that we can talk about in another video quick story here one time i was with my friend and i was talking about pim eyes and how it can actually scan the internet for the person's face and find where his picture is uploaded and he was with me and he wanted to test out the service so he has he has uploaded his picture and then found out a picture that he did not take and it was like a picture that's been took eight years ago or maybe seven years ago so he found out a picture that he did not take and he did not upload to social media instead someone else actually took a picture of a group and he was in the group and pim eyes were able to find his image like and the image was very old it was like seven or eight years ago so i think this is very very amazing another website which is 100 percent for free is called facecheck.id and facecheck.id is one of my favorite websites because it also gives you the full url for free so let's test it out i'm gonna upload my picture again i'm gonna say search internet by face and i'm gonna solve the puzzle here is the search result and you can see that we have a rank in here from 90 to 100 it's 100 percent or like a certain match and from 83 to 89 it's a confident match etc and you can see that it's actually found my picture on multiple platforms like youtube linkedin which is something that we have already seen with pmi eyes but with this website you get the full url of the where the image has been found so i can see my picture that's been uploaded on multiple websites and i can see other people that have maybe the similar facial expressions and that's why they are getting displayed in here but you can see that their match is actually like 60 which is when we look up here we can see that from 50 to 69 is a weak match so we want to look at anything that is a certain match or maybe confident match or any other picture because who knows what information or what 
matches could we find so i hope you find this video very very valuable for you and please try the service and tell me what you think about the services and if you have any question send an email to contact at cyberstudio.org i'd be more than happy to answer all of your questions please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because most of the people who watch the videos do not subscribe to the channel so make sure to subscribe and thank you so much for being with me here watching and learning from this video